Hi everyone, welcome to Coastal Cottage, my Mercer safe house, featuring actual synth settlers. I built most of it in one day because I wanted to proceed in the quest. Yeah. Also, I wanted to preserve the rundown look, so I built the safe house into the ruins of the cottage. Most people build a tiny bunker at the bottom, but I wanted to have a small teleporter platform there that you can see when you enter the building. Uh, hi there. You look tired. I recently installed housekeeping, which allowed me to give my runaway since fitting jobs before I had them farm crops out in the open, which is kind of stupid. I used unified clothing overhaul for dressing my settlers as synth. I overlooked this mod for ages, confused why there wasn't a mod that spawns synth settlers. Like what the hell? Yeah. I didn't know they could simply wear the appropriate costumes. Very cool. supposed to be praying to. I repaired the signal interceptor via mod the other week. I was really bummed out when I did the quest and it broke and couldn't be repaired or replaced. I mean, it looks so cool. Now that it is again, I'm happy. The safe house has six Gen 3 guards, some of them appropriately dressed in railroad so armor. All the time. Sorry, sounded rough. Good supply of clean water, things would be pretty good. No, probably not. I first started building high fences around the entire safe house to keep them truly hidden, but I didn't like the look of it at all. So I decided on barricades, keeping only the upper hillside well protected from getting overrun from an angle where enemies can't be seen. Now I know having the very flashy teleporter art in the open like that is retarded, but I went for style over realism here, okay? I can't remember the last time I had clean fingernails. If you say so. The reason I have more female settlers is because 90% of the males have the face bug, so they um, end up getting sent to Ten Pines Bluff, where they are being um, maybe um, killed. I haven't figured out how to fix it yet, it's very annoying. Life's hard, but it's ours. That seems worth it to me. Yes? You were there. The switchboard. One day, I didn't the touch the shed interior much at all. I only added a few things. I wanted to get rid of the boat, but the chain kept scrapped, so I just left it. Thanks for the opportunity. This guard has a metal hand, a rope blade that he lost it during his escape, and got a new one from a dead gen one. Excuse me. Hmm? 
Um, hello? The provision of Brahmin are complete nightmare in the settlement. Way too uneven for them. I'm going to try out this uh, new mod that lets you place markers for them. Maybe I can keep them at the base of the slope in the future. Defense isn't absurdly high here, only 170, but I've only witnessed one Deathclaw attack so far, so they should be fine. In total, only 12 cents live here, 6 resident guards, and 6 temporary refugees. They don't have enough water or food, but that's not a problem. They get supplies by my other settlements. They are about 73% happy, considering the situation. That's perfectly alright. I totally love the orange glow of the satellite dishes at night. I once had them all assigned properly to their beds, but today only two actually made it there. Oh well. <coughs> As always, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more! Next up is probably going to be Taffington Boathouse, a small family settlement. See you soon.